also the first episode of what is the most requested series so far on the channel, building a 2G GSM network. Now, this project was first highlighted in my making the first iPhone usable again video, in which case I showed how to bring calls, texts, and data back to older phones that are no longer able to use uh, networks officially anymore because 2G and 3G has been shuttered, at least here in the United States and a lot of other countries. Uh, but I was able to kind of recreate in a lab environment this whole network to bring these phones back to a sort of functioning status. We'll get more into that later on, but for right now I have to do the boring part of the video and that's dive through these disclaimers. This video and all that follow in this series are for entertainment purposes only. It's not recommended to rebuild the project that you're about to see because this can broadcast unlicensed spectrum. Now, I myself have built a lab only environment and this base station broadcasts at an extremely low power. And this is also configured to tell the phones to do the same and they're also at a very low power. And that leads to this not actually leaving this room. Nothing can be picked up beyond like even just a few feet. So this is not reaching public airwaves. This is staying within this hobby environment that I've created. On top of all of that, the space station is also configured to only accept custom SIM cards and only whitelisted devices can join. No other devices, even if they were able to see this, which they can't, uh, would be able to join and authenticate. So it's basically just kind of its own little ghost that I've created here. Now, as far as hardware goes, we're gonna be working specifically with the URAN 1. This is gonna be our SDR for this project. Uh, this is a really cool little base station. It's basically a mini cell tower on a circuit board. And we're gonna talk more about SDRs beyond just this one because SDRs are really cool. You can do more than just what we're doing in this project. Uh, that's gonna be coming up later. We're also gonna talk about the software side that drives all of this. That takes place on Mac OS and Ubuntu Linux. Those are gonna be the host machines that make all this happen. Also, the phones that are supported. That has been a big question in this, and that is any phone that supports 2G, more specifically GPRS. That includes the first generation iPhone and all the way up to the iPhone 12. I believe, I think it's somewhere around there, Apple cuts off 2G, uh, but this also goes backwards to the older flip phones or Blackberries or even Android phones. Any phone that is capable of joining 2G is able to use this base station. So that basically sums up the first episode in the series. It's just kind of an overview of what you can expect moving forward. Uh, part two is gonna be coming next and that's gonna be SDR basics. We're gonna talk about the URAN one, we're gonna talk about other SDRs and how they play a role in this. Part three is gonna come after, and that's gonna be installing and configuring OpenBTS and Asterisk. Those are the main softwares that drive this. Part four is then going to be the base station demonstration. That's gonna be showing how phone calls work, how texting works, uh, and how data theoretically works. I have not been able to get data working quite yet, but I'm hoping by the time I get to part four, I will have it working and I can show you. And if not, I'll show you in theory how it's able to work. I'm really excited to get started. If you're not subscribed to this channel quite yet, I Highly recommend you do so you don't miss out on this project if it's something that you want to see more of. Uh, and I will see you in the next episode.